And to WMER 2 News at 6, I'm Kelly Swoop. And I'm Jamie Costello. WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager spoke with a husband who lost his wife in that Beltway crash last month. His words will make you slow down and pay attention. She had already spent nearly a decade helping to build and maintain Maryland's roads when 46-year-old Sybil DiMaggio left for work on March 22nd. Her husband, George Durham III, recalls the last time he saw her. We woke up Wednesday morning nice and early and it was uh, coffee, showers and, you know, breakfast. It was just a Wednesday morning. It was a really good morning and she popped her head in the shower and gave me the kiss before she walked out. I mean, I can't really ask for much more than that, can I? You know, it was a good morning. That afternoon, Sybil and five other highway construction workers would lose their lives on the Baltimore Beltway after a vehicle crashed into their work site. State leaders marked National Work Zone Awareness Week, urging motorists to remember them through their actions. Slow down, pay attention, and do not forget the Marylanders who every single day are out here trying to make things better for you and your families. On Wednesday, the Maryland Department of Transportation has organized a unity ride in solidarity with all of those affected by the Beltway crash. Sybil DiMaggio's family wants to see an example set. You know, you ride around these freeways, you see these Jersey barriers, and every single one of them's been kissed by a car, right? We all know how treacherous this road is. You know, so it's just let's get everybody together, ride down the freeway and do 55 miles an hour the way we're supposed to, right? A simple message for those who travel the roads to be mindful of those who are risking their lives to improve them. I went to the funeral for the... Um, the Escobar family it was heart wrenching. Uh, I went. I went and visited um, the mother and wife of the Simmons guys that you know that passed too. Like my pain is my pain, but this touched a lot of people. It touched a lot of people in like intense ways. Jeff Hager, WMAR Two News.